Welcome to Creatively Rich. I am your host, Ann Tipton, here today with Sarah Dew, who has many hats that she wears, um, but one of the places you can find her online is thebrickmagazine.com, which is a magazine that she owns and operates herself, which is so cool, and we will definitely talk about that. But Sarah, let's first talk about how you transitioned from being a nurse to all of the careers that you have today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, as you said, I was a nurse practitioner and then, um, about 11 years ago, my oldest son was born. Um, and quickly at two years right after that, I had twins who were also born. It was a surprise. And so taking stock of two kids, three kids under two, realizing that going back to work was just not really feasible, especially in nursing because the schedule is so set and I, there was no way that um, I wanted to basically have them in daycare the whole time. That was just not something that I wanted to do. And I was, I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to stay home with them at the time. And um, yeah, I, I, from there, I was like, okay, well, I, I want to go back to work. It must fit my kid's schedule in the way that I wanted to parent. And so basically working from home was the option. And I had at the time started a blog um, that ended up doing quite well. It was in Home and Garden. And then I said, well, you know, this online thing is pretty sweet. What would happen if I actually really dove into it and figured out how to do it well? So I got a coach and I went to her and I said, here are my skills. Here's what I'm passionate about. And it was really around personal development development and helping people and women in particular. And I was like, here's what I need my schedule to look like because here are my responsibilities. Here's what I want my life to look at. And we create a business around it. Um, and it was great. And I did quite well um, over the years. And then probably about two or three years into the life coaching, I ended up realizing that I was really great at the business end of it and started learning more about that and then transitioned into working with small businesses in my area and all over to increase revenue, um, business strategy, that kind of thing. And that's where I've been for the last about seven years, seven, six, seven years. Wow, that's great. And and so the, the children were the kind of the catalyst for the big change, right? They were... Uh-huh they were the thing that motivated lifestyle looking different. So how have you uh, structured your life to work around having three, three boys? Yeah. So they're 11 and nine. So now we have school, which I remember when they first, when they finally were in all full time school, I was like, Oh my God, I have so much time. I don't know what to do. It was filled so fast. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah. So right now um, during the school year, Basically, I'm, you know, we do the whole morning routine, get them ready for school. I drive them to school and then my work day starts, their school starts at 8.52. So my first meetings start at 9.30. I work at my house generally and I work until four where I then, you know, my last meeting ends at four and then I go pick them up and then we just do the normal stuff like, you know, dinner, playing, the mom stuff. In the summer, it's great because I don't have to be the taxi driver. We have a babysitter who picks them up and takes them to all of their, you know, summertime activities and then brings them home. So in the summer, which is now, it's like the most wonderful thing in the whole world. I don't have to be a taxi driver. So I need to figure out how to do that during the school year. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I think anybody watching this episode who has kids, (laughs) wait a minute. (laughs) I want that too. I know. If anybody has an idea on how I can like very inexpensively find someone who wants to pick my kids up because we don't live in the bus route. So like get them to and from school. That would be, that would be like really exciting. And then they work. So then they're with their dad three weeks, three weekends out of the month. So then I have time during the weekends too. So sometimes then I actually enjoy putting work in there because it's like really relaxed. I'm like in spend Saturday morning catching up. I know this sounds so not exciting on emails, but I'm a dork. <laughs> I'm so happy to do that. <laughs> well, and I think, I think there's a, a huge difference, like energetically between working mm-hmm. because you have to and working yeah. because you get to. And mm-hmm. I know for me personally, when I do those Saturday morning, whatever projects I'm working on, they're like, it's kind of like sneaky extra time that I really, I really savor. It's not like it get to work. Rah. Like it doesn't yeah. have the same. <laughs> same yeah, it's like creative time or something. It's not like you have a, you have like meetings, meetings. Cause that's what a lot of my days are, which I love. And I love what I'm talking about, but it is meetings, 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 meetings. And so Saturday is like kind of clean up, you know, some casual work time. It's just, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Casual, one. Yeah. The coffee sipping 
lightly checking email. Yeah, that's in your bathroom. Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> no kids. Yeah, nobody's there. nobody's there to judge. <laughs> Judgment. So tell us about all of the hats you wear now, because mm -hmm. they're one of the things that I admire most about you is your ability to have a lot of different things going. And to me, that is just that's so interesting and so fascinating because I get bored so quickly if I'm doing the same thing all the time. And you have found a way to create a life and generate income with a lot of different plates spinning. So tell us what that looks like. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I always ground into the fact of like, why am I doing this? I chose to create a life where I, I needed flexibility for the kids. And that also brings with it some, you know, you have to be the one to go make the money. Like there's no option here. And I have the kids. It's not just me. I can't just not sell. Like it's just, that's not a thing. I don't have the option to stop. Um, so the, it, the way it happened is like, I noticed that with one business, you know, usually, you know, ideally it's all flat and wonderful and everything's growing, but that's not reality. Sometimes you have bad months, sometimes you have good months. And I was like, you know, I'm not willing to have that kind of fluctuation in my revenue. So I need to find a way that when this business isn't doing well, there's another one that can catch it. You know, so it's, it's like the whole thing, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And I don't, with the kids, I don't have the luxury of just being like, yeah, yeah, that's not gonna work out. So I always, that's what motivates me to do all of this. Um, and again, I get bored with things really quickly. And I really love building businesses. It's what I do. And so it's like, I teach it and help other people with it. But then I actually do it myself in three different ways places because it's what I love um, and so real estate came up as an option and I was like yeah that sounds cool I don't know much about a real estate business let's build one so we did and it's great um, and then I also have the magazine which is a little baby and started it about six months ago and you know we're just putting that into the you know into the mix and it's starting to get its own legs which is really great but it gives like you know I can do a pet project which is the magazine and the other businesses fund it for a while until it gets off it's sweet, which is really cool. And yeah, I just hired a new salesperson today for the magazine. So it's just fun to watch it kind of create it, turn into its, you know, turn into itself. Just like a little kid. That's awesome. So, and, and the third, so you've got the magazine, you've got the real estate, and then you do business consulting. So tell I us do. About I do that. business consulting. So um, the, that basically that's my business consulting. So I've been doing that for about seven years. And then la about a year ago, actually, um, I ended up merging with two other women who I've known for a while and done um, a lot of business with. And we ended up saying, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we did it together instead of all by ourselves? So it's me who does business strategy. We've got a copywriter. Um, and then we also have, you know, a business intuitive and business coach as well. So the three of us can really offer a robust services. And it's not all me pulling the weight. And it's not all, you know, my partners running their own businesses. We're actually doing it together, which is so great. That's so, awesome. I, it just adds more tools to the tool belt when you're doing business that way, right? Absolutely. Like, you know, it's, it's such a wonderful feeling having done it for so long on my own to be like, hey, you know, we're all like, if, if I can't do this, someone else will know how to do it. Or, you know, it's, it's all of us, you know, we're all kind of, you know, rowing the boat together. It's not just one of us who's making sure that, you know, the sales come in. It's not one of us making sure our clients get served. It's all of us. It's just, you know, we can deliver on such a higher level. Which is great. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the structure of your day with all of these businesses um, mm -hmm. as part of your life and three children. What it, what does that look like? Well, the kids are off. Like I said, my work day starts at about 930. Um, I'm just mom from that in the morning. And then I have, we have like two days on our calendar and God bless our team. They manage all of our calendars. God bless them. I wouldn't want that job if you paid me but somebody has to keep track of us. <laughs> and um, so we have two full days that are dedicated to um, just serving clients in our um, consulting business. And then we have, you know, time throughout the rest of the time throughout the week is basically for me, it's get the magazine up and done. I don't actually spend a ton of time on real estate during the week. That usually is on the weekends because it's just the way it is. And then, yeah, it's just a lot of meetings and appointments and all of that back end stuff for three businesses, which is not the, you know, it's not the client facing, but it's the rest of that time that is spent managing the team, having sales conversations, networking, all of that's happening on those other times. Between that's them, awesome. four. 
<laughs> between nine to four. Yeah, because they're you between know. nine thirty and four. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, and and it's cool because you know if we we I live in Michigan, so we have snow days, and if there's a snow day, I'm calling and I'm like, hey guys, all of our meetings are going to be on like this. I can't come, and so then I'll have the kids home, and they're finally old enough where it's not a disaster. When they were younger, that was even more delightful. Picture me with a panic attack all the time, like trying to keep them quiet in the other room. I'm like, I'm on the phone. <laughs> I told you to be quiet. Hide in the closet with the cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're past those days. We're excited. They're older now. But that did happen. I remember once I was on a sales call and I had to hide in the bathroom because the kids, one of, I think the twins were like four or five and they were at that age where they just want to be near you all the time. And I remember I'm on the phone and they're little, they were shoving their little fingers on the, the door and they were like, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, that was one of those moments. And I was like, what are you doing, woman? <laughs> what, are those, what am I doing with my life moments? <laughs> yeah, that was one of those moments. I was like, this is, you, you know, Sarah, you have two degrees. You should have been better choices in your life. <laughs> No, I, th I think they were probably a good choice. Yeah, yeah. It, it worked out. It wasn't pretty, but it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for being on the show today. I really appreciate your time and giving us a little insight to living your dream, which includes having a driver, a babysitter to drop kids oh, off, God, which is no. just amazing. <laughs> Whoever has that service, I will hire you. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me.